hi guys thank you so much for subscribing to my youtube channel and if you're new here please just you know um do the same for me and subscribe and click the notification bell so when i post a video and um, you can see it and come view my videos thank you so much for the support uh, guys today we're gonna be looking at the signs of danger in your relationship you know these days relationship are so amazing and so I hope you grab yourself a cup of coffee, water, and just relax. And I also hope you have one or two things to take home. And so let's hit it. In a relationship or when you just meet someone for the first date, for the first time, for the couple of days, you know, a couple of days. And so you went on a date. This person just, you know, give you a lot of compliments. This guy tell you how much he loves you, how much you're beautiful, how much you're this, how much you're that. It is good to get all these compliments, okay, on the first day. It just gives you that ginger to maybe want to see them again. And, you know, you're, oh, you're just all this happy. Hey, girlfriend, I think it's him. He was so sweet. He was so nice gentleman and all of these and that and that okay and then now a couple of days later you talking and being friends and all of a sudden brother is telling you how much he loves you and um, that should ring a bell okay because a man or a woman you should be consigned of your feelings or your emotion if they get broken if something happened how would you feel if being a man or a woman you should be consigned and say what if i say and she's not prepared you know would we'll not spend that time to know if she's prepared or not you know so you can take it like oh he said he loves me if you don't understand um, you know a man or you don't understand yourself and relationship and how it should be and how it shouldn't be uh, it should excite you like oh and but if you understand that is alarming it's too early have you has he done his own work has he checked is he ready is he prepared and um, you know so you want to make sure that all this it should be there's no two ways about it Um, it should be a red uh, a red flag to you and then maybe this didn't happen you move on you know you're in a relationship and everything is going well and everything is good and this guy always tells you you still love your ex you're still in love with your ex you're still in love with your ex these things you're hearing is draining you you know it's making you feel headache it's just you know you just want to you just want to like please leave me alone and these things are red signs it shows this man have very low self-esteem don't have confidence nothing so it just need you to feel bad for him so you both can be in the same boat and feel happy together all right and then another one when you are with him or in a relationship it does not want you to see any of your friends now he know Judith is not good. Now he know Juliet is not good. Now he know this is not good. And your work colleague, it doesn't want you to go out with them. This is a very wide, big, massive red flag. A man should know that being in a relationship or not, every human being needs that support system around them and so he telling you don't go out with your friends and he wants to distance you from them separate you this should be done 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 that just you know and um, ring off uh, on your head okay and then again he wants to be with you all the time all the time all the time come on being in a relationship have something to do i have something to do all right we cannot just be like two four seven you're not you know it's not your child you're not his mother you know uh, some things like that even your own children you love them so much with everything within you sometimes you're like oh i just need one week without them if you think that is absurd it means you're not truthful to yourself all right even if you have one child you're just like at least three days come take her come take him 
okay let alone an adult this is adult male just suffocating you every second want to call you every time stay on the phone with you two hours three hours when he knows you have stuff to do i don't think this is right so if you find it that he loves me i don't think that is love babe he should know a mature man should know that you have stuff to do you have things to do if this is a bad time talk to me for 30 minutes okay and then leave me alone to go do what i have to do so this is not love this is suffocation this attention you think you're receiving attention and it's not easy to be the attention of someone else's life that every time you're just the attention the 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 craving they coming for you no and they constantly asking you and um, do you love me do you like me do you think i'm good do you think i'm that and when you tell them i think i find you really attractive and i think i think you're you're cute you're amazing when you tell them they don't believe you you know they're always doubting what you said when, when you tell them the truth they think you're lying you understand they always compare if it was if i was my ex my this they always talk about their ex um uh, girlfriend or boyfriend you know and i i remember someone i was talking to and um, so he always talk about his girl his ex girlfriend my girlfriend my girlfriend my girlfriend and how was that I'm, i was over it so a day I, um so um one day i asked him what did your girlfriend do for you that you always talk about and um, your ex-girlfriend why did you not marry this girl and um, he said he wasn't ready so i wanted to know what this girl did for him you will be surprised just chill out grab a cup of coffee don't drink it just here so you don't spill it out he said to me i remember we went uh, we went back home okay so when we got back home um she it was her birthday so she got a car she bought a car for herself okay like maybe he said he put two thousand pounds or two thousand euros i can't remember three thousand and so when they get back home and um, it was a birthday and she presented the car and say um hi everyone thank you so much thank my boyfriend he is amazing he got me this amazing car i'm like what well, excuse me that's lying that's deception and that's like giving your glory to another person and that's like oh i'm a lazy woman so i cannot buy myself a car my boyfriend here got me a car why that game why that lie why that why do you have to make him secure why do you have to make him feel like a man it is not your responsibility to make him feel like a man and i'm like that is absolutely wrong so if it's something you do i think you realize it's wrong okay i don't think it's acceptable i just find it like excuse me there are single ladies out there doing great buying houses and car and doing stuff for themselves and you are here giving the glory to a brother what's that you know i find it really uncomfortable he is not you're not supposed to make him feel like a man all right he's masculine let him do stuff to make him feel that you having to make him feel that way it's just i don't i don't i don't find it comfortable if that makes sense i will tell you another one yesterday i went to see a lady and we were you know talking about relationship and you know every other crazy stuff i talk about and um, she said i said she said to me why are you single i like i'm not ready yet and you know um when i go i go for certain people and she was like oh no you have to go for these people you know we have to we have to we have to and um, so i like they're very naive they you know i really don't like the way they think their mentality and you know this set of people and she said to me no men are like your child you know if you don't like what you see you kind of put this and put it i said no it's a grown man it's not a baby it's a grown man why do i have to fix a grown man why 
if it's not ready it's not ready okay i'm saying i'm not ready i'm not ready because i don't need someone to come and be like oh i need to fix this i need to fix this i need to fix this why would i have to fix him he's not my child he's not my daughter sometimes i'm like tell my daughter hey you know what to do why should i have to tell a grown man what to do and so these are the crazy signs you need to look at someone always craving for reassurance he wants you to make him feel like a man he's comparing you with other women he's saying they did this they did that you are not and you are not this is you you want to tell him this is me this is me and he threatens to break up with you this behavior is possessive i don't think it's absolutely it's not okay for anyone and so you want to rethink that and phrase it understand it teach yourself tell yourself talk to you as a woman and know that you are not responsible for him to feel like a man you are not responsible for his happiness you're not responsible for his joy you would like just do like this you know back there our parents would be like not me my mom would say i from here do it to here i from up carry and come down he was with your boy he kiss her but though we are so, so you understand it's not my responsibility so you want to do the same thing it's not your responsibility he is a grown man you can't fix anyone no matter what if he's giving you headache constant headache you want to reassure him all the time honey i love you honey i just want to, i love you honey 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 stop focus that energy on yourself put that energy on you you're not responsible for anyone's happiness you're not responsible for anyone's joy you're not responsible to make anyone feel good about themselves you are not responsible for anyone to feel good about themselves. It's something that comes from within. If you think someone else can give it to you, how would you get it? It's impossible. Happiness comes from within. And having confidence, low self-esteem, all of these things, if you're tired with them, it comes from within. And I'm like, you know what? I'm confident. I'm beautiful. Look at the mirror. So you got nothing to do with giving someone else confidence that oh it's my boyfriend i need to give him some confidence from my you can't if he's not ready he have to look for it by himself it's not your responsibility and i want you to know that get out those signs put it in your head don't go to your friends i don't want to see you don't go to your friends your colleague at work don't go i don't like them i don't like them. it's trying to push you away so that when something happens you don't have anyone to talk to you don't have where to run to you don't have friends to confide in he doesn't want you to read books because he don't want you to have knowledge you don't want you he just wants you to be in there he doesn't want you to explain he doesn't want anything he just want you to to be that his puppet he can use and he he compares you with another person look at this thing uh, my aunts my dad look at that, that, that don't let him do that don't let him do you love me all the time like he's possessive he wanted to ask if you love him and when you tell him you love him he doesn't accept it you have to be careful sister you're not responsible okay you are not responsible and if you buy yourself a phone you bought yourself a phone not him but buy you a phone because that's how it starts that's how it starts and tomorrow you'll just be like you buy yourself a house my husband bought a house stop those signs are not good if you're pampering it if you're encouraging it you should stop it today you should stop it today because you're not only disappointing yourself you're making your own monster you're making monster now he knows he knows that oh she's gonna say it's me oh she's 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 painting this picture to people she's painting this picture obviously she cannot talk to them she cannot don't do that don't do that don't do that let him go out as a man do whatever he have to do to survive to be himself to be a man you're not responsible for him to feel like a man you are not you have to know that and i always say love yourself build yourself when you love yourself sister you are not a even friends girlfriends huh they do a near you go be like you like you like like that you're not making me happy you're not going to be in my life you cut it off let alone a man 
not not just friend but you have to be emotionally involved you have to be mentally if if you're if it's draining you something that is draining you something that is exhausting you something that is tiring why do you want to be around that thing why like it makes no sense you don't want to be there you no you have nothing to do with it so i hope you get this today and just look up see these signs Brother, I'm not responsible for your joy. If you refuse to make a change, I'm going to walk out on you. And um, so I hope you get it. And I hope you know that it's not your responsibility. And I hope you're beautiful and you're amazing and you're good. Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for viewing my videos, watching, liking, and commenting on my videos. And thank you for subscribing. Guys, I'll see you again on my next video. Thank you.